next to your slide, use the T icon on the left. Once you've clicked the T button, it will populate a text box within your screen. You can extend the text box left or right by grabbing onto the circles to extend the box to give yourself more or less space to type in. Once, you're, once you've sized the box appropriately, go ahead and grab the text box. You can pick it up and drag and drop it wherever you want to start within the screen. Once you have it placed, double click on the text box and it will bring up a cursor so you can begin editing the text. I always delete the sample text and then I'll begin typing my message. If you want to go to a second line, just press enter and begin typing on your second line. Once your text is done, go ahead and highlight the entirety of the text within the box to begin editing the properties. You can choose font family, which will change the style of the font. You can also add different styles to the text as well, such as line through, underline, italic, or bold. And you can also choose from the font sizes on this drop down to resize the text. There are also options to change the alignment within the box. You can align it right, center, or left within the text box. Once you've set your alignment, go ahead and change the text color using the A button. It gives you options from some preset colors down here, or you can customize your own color using the slide bar and then dragging the dot to the desired color that you want. We also have flexibility to enter in a hex code if your company has a specific hex code for certain branding colors. Once you've chosen the main font color, you can choose an outline if you'd like under the S where it says stroke color. Here, I'm going to add a black stroke. Once you've chosen the color, you need to also choose your stroke width. Currently it's at zero, so I'll go ahead and move it up to one. The higher number you go, the thicker the line will be. Once you're done setting the properties, there are some additional features on the left that will allow you to edit the text further. You'll see there's an opacity bar that you can slide to make it see through. We also have these depth arrows. If you have other elements within the screen, currently I have this background image on my slide. So if I wanted to send the text in front or behind that image, I can use the depth button to do so. You can also flip it horizontally or vertically or you can add animations to the text. If you select the animation button, it gives you the options to choose which direction you'd like the text to scroll. You can have it go up and down. You can have it go right to left. Choose your option and then also choose your duration. Once you've chosen your settings, you can always press the play button to kind of get a preview of what that animation will look like. There's also opportunity to add a drop shadow to your text. If you select the drop shadow option, you'll also be able to choose the shadow color. As you can see, it changes the color of the shadow behind the text. There's also the ability to copy the line of text as well using this double paper icon at the bottom. Once you've copied a box of text, you can pick it up and move it wherever you want within the screen and then double click on it again to edit what it says. If you decide you don't want a text box within the screen, simply click on it to select it and use the trash can icon along the bottom. You can also select a text box and use the delete key from your keyboard as well, which will do the same thing. 